Hey folks, welcome to ADSR. I'm Stephen Ellistad. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel and follow on social media. Sound Toys recently came out with their first EQ plugin ever. It's called the CQ and it's modeled on the Siemens 295B. It's a 50 year old German broadcast EQ. It's a really cool free plugin, at least until October 13th of 2016. So if you're looking for another EQ plugin, this is probably a good time to grab it. After that, it will be available, but it will be part of their Sound Toys bundle and available individually. And it's not going to be terribly cheap. I think it's $129 American. But again, that's after October 13th. So grab it before then. And I just want to do a first look at it. It's a really simple, like I said, it's a broadcast EQ and it's modeled on an old German, the Siemens 295. So we have effectively just a fixed low and a fixed high and then a quasi-parametric mid-range. But the whole idea is definitely, because it's a broadcast EQ, it was designed to kind of make things sound good no matter where it sat, uh, where it was positioned. And it's got a drive functionality that really kind of it follows the saturation of the original hardware. And it definitely adds a nice bit of character. So I just threw together a really quick little thing here. And I just wanted to walk you through what we got going on with this. It's a real simple interface. So again, we have our lows, we have our mids and our highs, then we have a drive. Option click, go back to Unity Gain or Default Setting. We've got a number of presets. Um, not too much, but you know some some kind of classic EQ presets. Bust Magic, uh, Scooped. We got a Smile Curve, a Thicken or a Telephone EQ. We can of course save presets directly in here rather than inside the DAW, just by saving the preset. And we can always reset our preset to default. Over here we have you know, news and information from Sound Toys, user's guide, Sound Toys user's guide, and all this stuff for your account, etc. And then a bypass. So it's a pretty simple interface. But it sounds real nice. So here's a basic, let me bypass this, a basic little tiny part. Let's go ahead and bring this in. This is the clarity preset. We can go in between these increments here. These marked uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. And then we have a fixed increment between the mids 700, 1000, 1 1.5, 2.3, 3.5, and 5.6. There's definitely some bite there, and I did notice that as we adjust the, the drive, as it's pushing that circuit emulation, we're hearing a little bit more bite at a particular uh, frequency, and I'm not sure if that's a function of the original hardware or just an additional functionality they modeled into it, but it sounds really nice. So if we could walk through a couple of these, here's a scooped EQ. Definitely has some neat character to it. Here's a telephone. And it can get pretty pretty dirty and gritty if we push that too hard. Of course, we're really cranking those mids there. Let's back that off a little bit. In fact, why don't we just reset this and let's play with it a little bit. I found that increasing the drive while decreasing, kind of performing a subtractive style EQ gives a totally different character than some type of boost. Let's drop our lows about six, our highs, now well, maybe four and a half, maybe come up to 1.5 here or 1500 hertz and drop that just a little bit less. This is definitely a character driven type of piece and let's let's try to hear it on something else this is a uh, summing stack i put together so i've just layered a couple of different pieces here on the summing stack itself let's go ahead and reset this to our default
definitely a little bit of bite that comes out of that. And I found that if we maybe roll some of that drive off and then roll off a little bit of the highs, we get some nice tone shaping. And of course, the drive response is very much affected, especially as we really push our low end because we're pushing more energy into that virtual signal chain. But I like it because it's got a warm analog kind of character. It's not as digital as some of the uh, stuff that you hear out there. One thing I wanted to also look at here is let's go over to this drum kit. We'll solo the whole kit out. And let's just throw a Siemens on a couple of those. So I'll just replace, first we'll try it on the whole kit. I also wanted to hear it maybe on our kick and our snare and our hi-hat. So I'm going to bypass the one on the bus for a moment and start with actually just soloing our kick. Let's try to thicken this up and see what that preset does. Definitely a digital, almost a uh, kind of a 909 fat sound there. A lot of tone shaping just from a basic three band EQ. I really like that character, especially as we get something laid in on the sound of it and then shape it with the drive function. I did notice these are kind of touchy, some of these knobs, just a heads up. I don't think it makes any real difference, but it does seem to want to jump uh, a little bit, at least in Logic. I haven't tried it yet in Live or Pro Tools. So let's go ahead and close that one. And let's take a listen to the snare. So we'll bring that in. Try a different one. Let's try our a scoop tone, see what that does for us. It's worth noting there's not an output gain, so that's all gonna be driven by your channel. But let's get a little bit of low end, more up on that. And we've really rolled it off around 700. I'm gonna roll it off not quite so much. Maybe move that to a thousand. And then I wanna bring it up a little bit on the high. See what we got there. I'm gonna back my drive off. Definitely not a character there. Let's actually reset it to the default and see how it compares. I think I'm going to turn off that envelope and that channel EQ, but I do want to bring a compressor in here. Let's bring my whole volume up just a little bit for you.
So let's hear that all in context. There's lots like with this, especially how can you not like free? So the free uh, Sound Toys CQ, uh, modeling the uh, classic German broadcast three-band EQ, available for free until October 13th, worth checking out. I'm a big fan of it. I think you will be too. I'm Stephen Ellenstead for ADSR. Thanks for checking this out. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel, follow on social media, and we'll see you next time. Take care.